Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our first and latest release of the Google Chrome Web Browser for Desktop version 109, which is the first release for this year 2023. So quite a bit going on recently with first releases for the new year. Now um, version 109 um, is not going to bring too many and doesn't bring too many front facing features or new features to the browser. So for your average home user, I think you may be a little bit disappointed when it comes to new features and really at the core of this update um, it's a security update and a security fix with a couple of new features that are rolling out as we would say so-called behind the scenes. Now because at first this is a important security update it is always good to double check that your browser is up to date as it is your first line of defense to the online world. And the latest version and build is 109.0.5414.75. Now, one or two things just to take note of here. Uh, when it comes to the different platforms um, using the browser, when it comes to Linux, that point release will be 0.74. Windows could be 0.74 or 0.75. And if you are using the browser on Mac, that will be 0.87. So just take note of that. And the rest of the version and the build stays exactly the same. Now, just to go through uh, the all-important security fixes. Google say they have made 17 security fixes available with this latest release, addressing 17 vulnerabilities, of which two are high severity vulnerabilities, which is your second highest after a critical. Now, although Google does mention that they are addressing two high severity flaws, they don't say anything in the release notes about any zero-day exploits currently active and exploited in the wild. But nonetheless, two high severity flaws being fixed, so an important security update. And those two high severity vulnerabilities are use after free and heap buffer overflow. And then we get a couple of medium fixes and then a couple of low. So 17 security fixes in total. So just double check your browsers up to date because it is your first line of defense to the online world. Now with that all out the way, let's just take a quick look at some of the features which as mentioned are mainly taking place under the hood. Now, the first is that cookies have independent partitioned state. So the long and the short of that means that um, basically cookies now with Chrome version 109 are placed into their own partition or another description for that could be, be their own container. And um, this will help with cross-site tracking. So this is another attempt by Google to phase out third-party cookies. And... Um, Placing cookies into their own partition or container will help when it comes to cross-site tracking. So a bit of a privacy and security improvement there with cookies now having an independent partitioned state as mentioned. And then the second feature for the desktop browser taking place behind the hood is called MathML. Now the long and the short of that is it's now easier to insert mathematical formulas into web pages in Chrome version 109. So MathML also rolling out. And then... Um, there is also a new conditional focus feature, which um, could possibly help when it comes to uh, video calls, which um, is a feature that basically allows web apps to control whether the capture tab or window will be focused when the capture starts, as an example, in a video call or whether the capturing page should remain in focus. And then there's also audio playback suppression, which is helpful when you are maybe in a crowded room and you are on a video call and that audio suppression, suppression when enabled um, could um, you know, block out the background noises and the background voices so your voice is more predominant in the video call. And then we get a, a bit of a new improvement um, when it comes to Chrome on Android. So moving away from the desktop browser now, um, there, there is now biometric screen unlocking when it comes to using the browser on Android, which means now if you are, as an example, doing a secure payment, you can now use your fingerprint if your device supports it to unlock your screen with that new biometric screen unlocking on Android. Now, um, as I have mentioned um, previously in previous videos, with Chrome version 109, uh, this is the last a stable version that will be supported if you are running Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 8.1. So just take note of that. So um, that means that with Chrome version 110, which is the next stable release, uh, rolling out uh, the week, the 7th of February next month, um, that will be, uh, this version is the last, and Chrome 110 will not be available for Windows 7 and Windows 8, 8.1. You won't be able to install it. Um, but if you are running an older version 
of Chrome um, on Windows 7 and 8.1. You won't be getting any more updates, but you will still um, be able to run those browsers. They will still work, but obviously not advised because you won't be getting any fixes and security updates. So Chrome version 109, the last stable version to be supported for Windows 7, 8, 8.1. When Chrome version 110 rolls out um, the week of the um, 7th, 1st of February, 2023, uh, that's the stable and um, that will be the first browser that will not be able to be installed on windows 7 and 8 8.1 and that will be the next stable version rolling out next month as mentioned and that's more or less for the latest stable release chrome version 109 mainly a security update with some new features and um, taking place behind the scenes so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one